Yo, what up, everybody? Colin here with TechOut, and it has been one week since I installed iOS 26 here on my iPhone 16 Pro Max, and this has been my daily driver device. I haven't used anything else over the past week, so I have been using iOS 26 for everything I do on my phone, from social media to YouTube to web browsing to checking email. Um, I've used my phone just normally day to day, obviously communicating with friends and family, text messages, phone calls, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I want to go over how my experience with iOS 26 has been this far. And just like I've mentioned over in other videos, um, let's get the, this first thing first out of the uh, out of the bag. Um, no, you should not install this on your daily device. I know I've gotten a lot of comments about that um, in the stream I did where I installed this, as well as some other videos of people asking if iOS 26 beta one is stable enough for their main device or stable enough to install on their device in general. And my answer to that is no. Usually I say it's pretty okay, but I still wouldn't recommend it. I'm straight up saying no this time. I would not do it whatsoever. Um, and that is mainly because of battery life rather than any kind of bugs or anything like that right now. Um, I haven't really had any major bugs that prevent me from doing anything on my device or anything like that. There's a couple random ones like uh, one right here. If you go to search for controls, um, sometimes this will cause the phone to restart. It didn't do it that time, but it's happened to me a few times where if you want to add controls down here uh, and you search for one, your phone will just completely restart. <coughs> That's one of the issues I've had. Um, I've had it restart a couple times just swiping on the home screen. But again, that's only happened once or twice in the in the entire week that I've been using iOS 26. So, I mean, as you can see here, it's not, not something that happens regularly or prevents you from using the device. Um, like I said, the main issue I have with it right now is it is absolutely just eating through battery. Um, my phone has not been unplugged that long. I just had it plugged in when I was in the car on CarPlay or on the wireless charger rather. And I just came inside. I haven't used it that long. And as you can see, in less than an hour of being unplugged, not, not an hour of use, but in less than an hour of just being unplugged, um, we're already down to 92%. And I've, I've noticed that with my battery usage um, and my battery health on this phone is still at 100%. I noticed that with iOS 26, um, if I'm just doing some basic tasks, social media, you know, over here on X, stuff like that, um, checking YouTube stats, texting on, on iMessage, that kind of thing, uh, I lose about 10% and probably about 30 minutes. Whereas on most phones, I consider about 10% an hour, 10% uh, every hour and a half for some things to be pretty good. Um, YouTube will kill it a little bit faster than that, video playback, stuff like that. Um, but just general phone usage um, with some light usage, I say I would I would lose about 10% and about 30 minutes is kind of my rough, my rough estimate. Don't hold me to that specifically, but I feel kind of like that's where it's at right now. Um, so not, not very good at all. Um, with that, I can get about four to five hours of use on a phone that I used to get like seven to eight realistically. Um, I used to get through the day with this phone, no problem, with like 30% left to spare, um, doing pretty much anything. And now I'm lucky if I get to like the middle of the day with 50%. Um, I can use this phone for just a few hours and have it down in the 40s. Um, and just having your phone at 40% with, with bad battery life, you know, you, you, you feel like you gotta charge it back up because if you're gonna go somewhere and you're gonna be out for two hours, 30% is not gonna last you. So. Um, it's just one of those things where it's very inconvenient and that's why I don't recommend you install this beta right now. And that's definitely something that Apple needs to address. Um, we did have another battery issue on iOS 26 for iPhone and, uh, 15 and 16 models. Um, all the, uh, all the models, the pros and everything too, where the phone was showing a low battery icon and unable to boot. And I think that was happening too, regardless of the battery's charge, um, for some phones, they did re-release iOS 18 for 15 and 16 and correct that issue on Friday. So that issue has been fixed. If you're having that problem, you can manually update your phone. There are instructions on the feedback app on how to do that um, to fix that issue if your phone's not starting up or you're having any issues with that. But as far as actual battery life, that has not been corrected yet. Um, this is my home screen setup. I did redo it for iOS 26. I completely wiped everything and I'm using more of the widget screen right here. Uh, this is my first home page with mainly just my Apple apps right here and then these are the main apps that I use day to day that I like to open a lot, like X, YouTube Studio. We've got the YouTube widget on the top here. And then most of my other apps that I don't use on a uh, day to day basis or maybe just once or twice a day, 
I have left over here and I use the app library now, which I'm actually really, really enjoying. I really enjoy having this home, uh, home screen set up a lot cleaner than just having apps, uh, you know, pages of apps and folders and stuff like that with stuff that I might use like once or twice a day or sometime maybe just once or twice a month. So I'm going to do a video on this. Uh, the background before anybody asks, because I get this comment in every video that I show my phone on the background is from the backdrops app. I can't share a direct link to each wallpaper. Um, but if you want to hop in here, you can download the app and download the wallpapers. Uh, these are all my favorites. There are the names of one of the, uh, of most of the ones I use. Uh, so the one I'm currently using is called draft plan. If you search that on the app, you should be able to download it just fine. Um, but other than that, iOS 26, like I said, has not had too many bugs. Um, at least that are affecting my day to day usage. There are some random things like the camera control doesn't work. Like I can't zoom. I can't change any of the, the modes or anything like that. I can still press it to take a picture and still open the camera with it. But as far as the swipe gestures and like the, the haptic or the, you know, force press or whatever you want to call it, uh, that doesn't work. It's not doing anything. There is a setting in here for it, um, where they did change up some stuff and I'll just go in here and show you before somebody tells me about it. It is on single click camera adjustments are turned on. You can move, uh, move what it does, the controls. Um, so you can reorder them if you want, like, you know, all these to be like in a certain, you know, section or category or not category, but section certain order rather, um, you can change that around. You can't remove them, unfortunately, but you can, uh, reorder them, but everything, as you can see here is turned on camera adjustments, light press swipe. Um, but if we hop into the camera here, the light press is not working. The swipe is not working. Nothing happens. So that's another bug. Um, if you use camera control, obviously it would be a little bit annoying, but other than that, like I said, nothing that really prevents me from using any of my apps or anything like that. Um, I do wish the keyboard, um, you know, this is something that developers are going to have to update within their apps when iOS 26 gets released. Uh, but the keyboard, the new system keyboard we have here that appears in like settings and messages and system apps and stuff like that, um, does not carry over to third party apps yet. So, uh, developers have to update that, but I really like the new keyboard. So they, uh, I can't wait till that happens to all the apps adopt that. Uh, that'd be very nice because it just fits iOS 26 so much better and not having the square keyboard on these rounded edge devices uh, just feels a lot better. I did also install iOS 26 on my iPhone SE uh, 2. This is the non 5G one. This is just the, uh, I think it's like the 2020 or the, it's the second generation, whatever, whatever year that came out. Um, and I haven't used this at all. I haven't put my SIM in it. I haven't done anything. Um, there is also a thing going on where the calendar, um, as you can see there, the calendar just had a different icon and then it changed to, uh, the day finally like normal. Um, but it had just like an actual blank calendar on there, uh, at first for some reason, somebody had been reporting that on X that that's been happening as well. So, uh, that is something to keep note of just kind of weird things happening there with the icons. Uh, but other than that, no issues. Like I said, I haven't used the second gen, so I don't know how the performance is on a phone like that. I just installed it on there just to install it on there. I don't use that phone for anything other than just messing around with it, uh, basically for stuff like this. But, um, that's been my one week with iOS 26. Again, don't recommend it for personal devices. Um, if you've got a second iPhone or whatever that you don't really care about too much that you don't need to use every day, go ahead and throw it on there. You can play around with it. But, uh, for daily devices, I'd wait for the public beta, wait till they get this battery life ironed out and make sure we're not going to introduce any other major bugs here in beta two, um, before, you know, we start installing it on main devices, but that is iOS 26, my one week with it. I'm Colin with tech out over to comment, rate and subscribe. And as always have a great day.